It doesn't come with the front. I wish it did. I have ghosts in my house. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Portia. Um, everybody calls me Portia, so you can call me Portia too. And if you're already familiar with my channel, welcome back. So I've been missing. I haven't really made a YouTube video in like two weeks. Um, and that's partially because of a lot of things um, going on. I think you guys kind of know already what I'm talking about. Um, I can't really say the word because I don't know. I, I guess that's like a, a bad word. That's like a, it's like a swear word on YouTube. Like I can't, I can't say the C word. But you guys know what I'm talking about. Another reason why I haven't been on YouTube and I've been kind of absent because I was like super super bummed um honestly I was supposed to go out of town for a wedding um last Friday and that got canceled and I was really looking forward to it just for the simple fact of I um I was supposed to be going to Houston and one I've never been to Texas before at all and I was really excited to see all my friends and family and yeah I just wanted to have a change of scenery get out the house you know um do something new and yeah that was just like a one big womp womp and um the last video I think I posted was um about being a server so and as you guys already know <laughs> due to everything that's going on all the restaurants shut down so as a server I'm temporarily unemployed yeah that sucks I was just really really bummed because there was a lot of content that I had planned I had planned a pack with me video I had planned vlogging like the whole trip and everything so on and so forth and there was just a lot of stuff that I had planned and a lot of content that I had planned and I was super I was super excited about it and all of it was just like nah bro no none of that is happening so I was just like I'm super annoyed but what one video that I could still film no matter what is a makeup haul um, I'm slowly regretting this now seeing as how I don't really have any income to pay the bill now um, but you know yellow so what we're gonna do today is like a Sephora haul and slash um, Alta haul I had went to Sephora to re-up on some makeup I literally actually what I've been doing while we're quarantined is um, cleaning like just cleaning my space so I cleaned out my room I've been going through my room and stuff like that and I've also been cleaning out all my makeup and for the most part I literally have no makeup now because it's all old and expired and just gross <laughs> so yeah what I use on a daily basis is pretty much all that I have um, besides everything that I just bought yeah without further ado let's get started oh and then I also have one thing from Alta as well um, so I think I'll just go in with that first so one thing I found out recently is that Alta carries um, Shane Mitchell's travel um, line or at least bits and pieces of her travel line and if you're not um, familiar with Shay Mitchell she played on Pretty Little Liars she played Emily anyway, she has a travel line called base um, but it's spelled b-e-i-s I don't I don't know the, the story behind spelling it that way but it's base it's base it's not beast or vice or whatever but it's base um so I got two things from her line um the first thing was this couch set um so it's just a three-piece couch set so it comes with a really big one a really really tiny one and then a, me a medium sized one um so I just thought this would be really 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 good for traveling <laughs> and um, I thought it would also be super like easy to 
pack all of my stuff, like all of my toiletries and so on and so forth. And then all of my tiny jewelry pieces and dainty jewelry pieces could have went into the small pouch because I, I really honestly don't wear jewelry that much, you guys. Um, you'll notice I don't wear that much jewelry. And if I do, um, my necklaces are pretty dainty, pretty minimum. Um, and then also I don't wear earrings because I do not have pierced ears. Um, so yes, I know. I don't have pierced ears. Next thing that I got from the base collection is going to be this cosmetic kit. Now I, oh my gosh, um, not only was I getting this to plan to pack with it for travel, but I just wanted now, especially now more than ever, that I just cleaned out all of my makeup. And I don't really have that much makeup now to begin with. Um, I just wanted something like to consolidate all my makeup and not have it in separate places and all over the place. I just wanted to have it in one specific spot. So this is going to do the trick. Um, I'm super excited about this, first and foremost, because it's super, it just has like all the compartments. Um, so this is what the inside looks like. Um, so you could put like something right here. I don't know what, but you can. <laughs> um, and then actually there's a part right here. This part, this little... So this little flap right here is magnetic. Um, it has two magnets right, like, right here. Um, and it sticks. Let me take the cardboard out. It sticks um, to the inside. So it just like that which it just gives you added like space and bonus um so i really like that there is a tab for as you can see guys i haven't i haven't opened this i haven't opened anything um so it has a tab for the brushes so you can put the brushes right here and it has um a little strap so the brushes stay intact um so that's really cool And then on the opposite side, in this um, little zipper right here, it also comes with your own travel size mirror. And that's what I was absolutely obsessed with. Um, because especially when you're traveling, when you're doing makeup, you have to pack all of your makeup and then you have to worry about packing a mirror or when you get um, to wherever your destination is and you get to the hotel, you kind of have to search out a place where you're actually going to do your makeup. And most of the time, it's probably going to be in the bathroom because the bathroom has the best lighting um, out of the whole hotel, the whole hotel room. Um, because lining in hotels suck. So yeah. It's a pretty, you know, it's not like the best mirror ever, but how many cosmetic cases you know come with a mirror in general? I thought so. After that, it's just there right here. And then you could just pretty much organize it however you want. Oh, and then there's two pockets right here on the side. And it's just super, it just feels super sturdy. And it just feels super sturdy and luxurious. And like, you know, this won't get dirty. I'm lying, it will get dirty. But <laughs> this is pretty easy to clean. Um, that being said, but it has like a faux, it has like a leather feel. It's not leather, um, it's definitely faux leather, but like it has like this leather feel. So um, you're able to wipe it off if you get makeup on it. A lot of makeup cases for the most part, unless you get like a, like a hard plastic makeup case, they're going to be cloth for the most part. And that is just impossible to clean unless you put it in the washer. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, ain't nobody got time to be putting nothing in the washer. That's not my clothes, honestly. I don't even wanna put my clothes in the washer half the time. So, um, yeah, with that being said, I'm super excited about this. Moving on to um, Sephora. So a few things I'm just going to randomly pull out. I don't know out um this is a travel size once again 
I thought I was traveling, you guys, so everything might be a little bit smaller, travel size, or whatever. Anyway, um, I got the travel size version of the Urban Decay All Nighter um, setting spray. I couldn't think of the name, setting spray. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys have all seen what this looks like, but it's just a travel size version. I think this is super cute. Uh, this is my favorite setting spray of all time. Uh, I think this is, okay, wait, what? It's temperature controlled, so um, if it's hot, if it's cold, you know, your makeup isn't going to do anything funky. Um, it's just going to adjust to whatever type of weather climate you're in. So that's another reason why I really, really like it. Uh, my hair is doing some really funky stuff right now. So if you're wondering why my hair looks frizzy and crazy and all the other stuff, mind your business, we're in a quarantine. But it is what it is. But this was actually a gift um, with my points. Uh, so I just thought I would pick it up. And once again, I was thought I was traveling. So I was like, oh, this would be a perfect time to try out some skincare. Um, but this is the Tatcha um, Duo. And it's a water cream. It's the water cream moisturizer and the Tatcha Deep Cleanse. So I'm definitely going to hang on to this because... This is definitely going to be perfect for when I'm traveling, so that way I don't have to worry about any um, moisturizers or, you know, um, yeah, moisturizers or face wash or anything like that. So, I have that. Um, um, next thing I got was this Volition. Is that how you pronounce it? Volition? Okay, anyway, this is the Celery Green Cream. Um, I'm going to use this as a night cream with my um, nighttime skin care routine. <laughs> um, so yeah, I tried this out as a tester a long, long time ago, trying to look for some night creams um, to put over my serum, and I really, really like this one. Um, it just smells really good, and... Um, it smelled really good, and I just liked how my face felt so nice and plump um, when I went to bed, as well as when I woke up in the morning. Um, so, and I haven't had, or I haven't found a cream that did that so far. So, this is it, right here. So, this is it, right here. Um, and it's like clear and gold, which is very on track for me. So, very much a fan. So the next thing is another travel size version of the Fenty Powder and Honey. Um, I was actually going to get the full size version of this, but then when I was checking out, I saw that they have the mini versions and I wasn't sure if this is actually going to work out for me, if I'm going to need this as an under eye shade or just my all over face shade. So I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to feel about it. So, and then plus, once again, I thought I was traveling. So I thought it would be a good idea to get like a travel size just to like test it out before I fully committed to it. So, but I'm very excited to try it though. And it's so cute. Look how cute this is. This is, this is cute. And if I didn't say it before, it's in the shade Honey. Next thing is a travel version of the They're Real um, mascara. It's one of my favorite, favorite mascaras. Favorite high-end mascaras. One of my favorite drugstore mascaras are going to be the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. That's my favorite mascara probably ever, but high-end mascara benefit their real even if I don't need any more mascara I will always get some more of this because that's just it's my favorite I love I love this mascara next thing is the milk hydro grip primer I got a full-size version of this because obviously I mean I know that I'm going to use this no matter what for all all the time so yeah, and this is pretty popular on YouTube, so you got you guys know what it is. 
Okay. Um, one of the last things coming up on the last thing is um the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Cadiz. Cadiz. Which is medium dark three. And this is going to be the shade. It looks pretty light in the bottle, but I got matched for this before you guys. So before anybody says anything, they're going to be like, uh, that looks pretty light in the bottle for you. Girl, I got, you know, I got matched for this. Okay. Okay. They match like three different shades. This is the one that worked. Um, but I will test this out. I might film myself testing it out. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, oh, I have another sample of the Ole Hendrickson um, Brightening Gel Cream, which is that. And then, um, a water sleeping mask from Laneige. Laneige? 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 I don't know. And then I got two fancy clips for my hair that I was going to use. Um, I might see if I can return these high key. I don't need them. And they were like $12 a piece. Girl, for what? That is pretty much it. That is everything that I got in the haul. Um, so if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe, you guys. Um, I'm going to be cranking out a lot of content now that I'm done having a pity party for myself for the past week. That being said, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. And yeah.